What's going on? My name is Louis. Today is October 9, 2024, and God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have an urgent breaking news coming out when it comes to Hurricane Milton. Ron DeSantis warns, if you're going to get out, get out now. We have more breaking news updates. The White House said... We are providing to Florida for Milton. More breaking news updates. Here we go. The U.S. president said we are prepared for another hurricane to hit Florida. We have a lot more information coming out. Please share the video. Right now, we could feel the wind. All right. So, again, the wind is uh, it's, it's basically reaching Florida and... um. Yeah, we could feel it now, and please pray for us. I do live near Tampa. Uh, we are heading to a shelter, and the shelter is absolutely amazing. The people there are amazing, uh, the law enforcement. And uh, again, thank you so much uh, to many people out there for the prayers. Um, there is uh, helicopters going on. There's tons of helicopters, and... Um, from what I heard, the reason why helicopters are here in Florida is because, number one, the hurricane. But they are something about something about a disturbing message. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my video, but uh, 29 states is under emergency due to a certain uh, group from other lands. And we're talking about a group that support ISIS. So there's been some um, Black Hawk helicopters go um, going on here in Florida. And uh, some people are saying it's because, of, again, a combination of hurricane, but also, certain, again, keeping an eye on um, certain areas, put it like that. So, again, this is where we are right now, guys. If you can... Please share the video. I will keep it updated with all these breaking news uh, updates when it comes to Hurricane Milton. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Let's see what's going on with, uh, with this story here. Mr. Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, has warned residents in uh, Hurricane Milton's path to evacuate immediately. Now, when he say evacuate immediately, basically saying find a nearest shelter. <clears throat> because uh, there's no time for people to leave to you know other states. And plus, there's bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic going on in I-75 and other highways too. Power line workers from as far as California are being deployed to assist with lengthy outages. Now, we we did talk about that. <clears throat> the video will be in the comments box. They are preparing for over 1 million outages. All right. So, 300, wow, look at this. 300 healthcare facilities have already been evacuated as the storm approaches. <clears throat> there we go, guys. Hmm. It's going to be a big one. Now, let's see what's going on with the uh, the president. Uh, he's putting out his information. All right, so let's see what's going on with this one. So the White House said, we are providing to Florida for Milton. Our administration continues to preposition life-saving resources in preparation for Hurricane Milton, including, number one, it says here 15.6 million meals and 13.9 million liters of water already in position. Number two, 20 million meals and 40 million liters of water ready to deploy. Wow. Where were all this at when uh, <clears throat> North Carolina? Seven agency incident management assistant teams. Wow. Uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Temporary Power Teams. Three U.S. Coast Guard Swift Water Rescue Teams. Eight more of the agency Urban Search and Rescue Team. 
five disaster medical assistance teams. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, what is this? He's actually doing his job. But the reason why this is happening is because you guys know November is around the corner. And, you know, I got to make uh, Harris look good. You know, I kind of messed up in North Carolina. <laughs> Once again, here's another breaking news update. I've directed my team to do everything they can do. Or, excuse me. Everything they can to save lives and help communities before, during, and after this hurricane. The most important message for those in the impacted areas is to listen to local authorities and follow safe, safety instruction, including evacuation order. Absolutely, I agree with that 100%. Everything he said in that part is 100% um, absolutely on point. All right, so uh, those two messages from the White House and the president, amazing. I mean, that's, that's again, that's huge. That's a lot of support there. That's that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. And um, now the question here is, you know, what made him uh, all of a sudden have this uh, um, ability to help i mean because we i mean we've seen multiple hurricanes we've seen a lot of stuff we've seen uh again we've seen uh hurricane Haleen. the big band is still uh clean uh cleaning up and but uh it seems like this one here they when i say they i'm talking about the right they again the right it's like hey get you, you gotta do your job man vacation no 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 more vacation you took 500 vacation no more beach time no more ice cream get back to work <laughs> man mm. We have more breaking news updates. Hurricane Milton to make landfall Thursday morning. All right, so these are all updates. Milton is now expected to hit between Tampa Bay and Fort Myers early Thursday between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. Sarasota is closest to the projected landfall with storm surges of 10 to 15 feet possible south of the city. So it moved. It moved because it seems like it's going to hit. You see that? So remember we talked. Okay, so this line here, this line represents the eye of the storm. So that eye yesterday was pointed here in MacDill Air Force Base, right? It was going to come through like St. Pete and everything and uh, heading towards like Tampa. But it kind of moved down. It's heading like towards like Brandonton and also you got Sarasota down here. I have a strong feeling this storm is going to come more down to the south. Um, which this this uh, this eye to where I live, that's uh, 80 miles. So I'm 80 miles away from this eye. 80 miles away. But we need to pray for a lot of people. But even though the ice is here, guys, we all going to get impacted. This storm is going to impact millions. Again, you got uh, you got Largo here. You have St. Pete. You have Clearwater. So Pinellas County. You got um, what's after Pinellas County? Pasco County, and then you have a uh, Spring Hill. You have a uh, you have a uh, Trinity. You have all those places out there. You have uh, yeah, you, Newport Richie. I mean, those regions are gonna get hit. Again, there's gonna be a lot of flood going on in Tarpon Spring, and um. I'm going to bring you all the updates, guys. I'm going to travel down to Clearwater, and I do have a camera, and I'm going to take all pictures and everything if you guys want. Sarasota is closest to the projected landfall with storm surges of 10 to 15 feet possible south of the city. Widespread wind damage and power outages are forecasted south of the I-4 corridor. I-4. That's where all the traffic is at. People just back-to-back -back bumpers there. Uh, excuse me, bumper to bumper. So along with 12 to 18 inches of rain, ooh, uh, causing severe flooding. Wow. This is huge. This is big breaking news. We have more breaking news updates. Waffle House closes location in every Florida as Hurricane Milton approaches. I'll tell you one place that will never close. 7-Eleven. 
7-Eleven is always open. Always, always, always open. You never see that store closed. That store never closes. Even during 2020, everything closed. The church closed. Everything closed. There was only one light on. 7-Eleven. I hear a donkey. I hear a donkey. Someone has a donkey. Someone has a donkey. They're not supposed to have a donkey in this county. <laughs> Someone has a donkey. All right, so Rafa House is closing at least 25 locations in Tampa and eight in Fort Myers as Hurricane Milton barrels towards Florida's Gulf Coast. The famed Waffle House Index is in full effect, signaling the severity of the storm. Folks, if Waffle House is closing, you know this is a big deal. Not really. If 7-Eleven closes, then you know that's the real big deal. Restaurants on the eastern side of Florida remain open as the hurricane looms. Wow. Okay. Here's the thing. I never ever been to Waffle House. Never ever ever gonna step foot in Waffle House. I hear a lot of bad things in Waffle House. If you go in there, there's something happens. There's some kind of curse. But um, I love waffles and I love pancakes. But I never been it, been there. We have more breaking news updates. Look at this. Starlink enables emergency cell service in hurricane zones. Starlink has delivered over 10,000 kits for Hurricane Haleen relief and together with T-Mobile activated direct to cell satellite to provide emergency alerts across all carriers in affected areas. The FCC granted emergency approval for Florida ahead of Hurricane Milton. Basic texting is now live for T-Mobile users. Phones connecting to Starlink show T-Mobile SpaceX with one to two bars. All right. Here, well, the shelter I went to, my data, uh, I mean, it's just one bar. I don't know if there's something going on with the shelter, but uh, yeah, it was just, it was terrible. Give me a second here. I want to go with the National Hurricane Center. Okay. I'm just going to refresh it. There we go. So right now it's 165 miles per hour. It's been like that for the past three, four hours. It hasn't gained any strength. And it's moving east, northeast at 10 miles per hour. Now maximum, um, give me a second. The minimum central pressure is 902 MB. All right, so that's where we are right now. It's still a category five. It's going down. I could tell it's going down. This eye is just because I remember this is uh, this was covering all this up here, but now it seems like it's going down to uh, Brennington and Sarasota. I had a feeling that it was gonna change. Uh, it was gonna shift. Hold on, give me a second. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, we're going to have to wait tomorrow. You see uh, how the storm already left Mexico. It was a, uh, it was hitting the tip of Yucanta. I think it's Yucanta. That's how you put it. Yucunta, Yucanta, something like that. And now this is the eye of the storm. And now it's heading towards Florida. This is it, Floridian. 
We are next. We are next. Now, the big test is that this hurricane is still going to stay here, or is it going to go down, or is it going to go up? We're going to see, guys, because now it's leaving this piece of land here, and now it's going to head towards uh, Florida. And it's going to gain strength. But experts are saying by the time this reaches Florida, like around here, it's going to drop to Category 3. 120, possibly 125 miles per hour, and then it's going to slam Florida. Storm surge, outages, you name it. Look, I know people wanted me to leave. People were saying, Louis, you got to get out of there. Uh, it's, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. And plus, I have a lot of animals. I mean, I can <clears throat> I cannot just abandon the animals. And then let's say I can't get to Florida for like a week. And then all of a sudden, I come home and... It, Bad news for the animals. And I have a family of five. I mean, it's not like I have a big van. I used to have a van, but uh, that thing gave out. All right, I'm looking for more updates here, guys. Give me a second. Hmm. All right, so... I feel bad for the people that try to get out. I mean, it just... Once again, this was released not too long ago. Right now, it's 9.38 p.m. Eastern Time. You are receiving this video 2 a.m. And the reason why is because uh, YouTube sends out notification at 2 a.m. All right. So by the time you're watching this video, I'm I'm probably probably sleeping at the shelter right now. <laughs> so, um, All right, guys, I think this is all of it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait. No, 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 no. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Look at this. Look at this. Target parking lot completely packed. You know why it's packed? Because you have the highway completely jammed. I seen gas station. I'm like, oh, man, this gas there. Let me go. And so when I go to the gas station, when I go inside 7-Eleven, I'm like, can I get five on, on number two? Oh, we don't have gas. So why are these people here? It's a rest stop. So, it, again, gas stations are packed. Walmart are packed. Uh, Target parking lot are packed. It's because, again, they have no other choice. They have to abandon the highway. And that's where they're staying. Wow. Ooh. They couldn't make it out. They couldn't make it to another state. They couldn't. Uh, they just stuck there. Hmm. Now, here's the thing that I'm I'm confused. Um I understand the RV. I you know, I see a lot of people here in Florida 
They have the RV. They have the pickup truck. There's you know trailer hinge attached to the RV. But why the boats? Why are people taking boats with them? Is it because the flood it might damage it or sweep away the boats? For those of you that don't know, I mean, for those of you that know, please leave comments down below. Why are they taking boats with them? That's why, you know, I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I can understand the rest. The RV, you know, because a shelter to stay in. But why the boats? I see a lot of people taking boats with them. I mean, the first thing that popped in my head was like possibly flooding. They don't want to lose that boat. See, someone is like high ground and high ground in Florida. Those trailers are no match. Hopefully, these are far enough out of the storm. That's what I'm saying. I, I again, you know, they park there. Um, they have no other choice. They're there because they have no. They basically don't have a lot of gas, and that's it. Oh man, um, I have a really bad feeling about those cars that were stranded in. Oh man, that's why I said that uh, there's no reason to go out there to other states. And I, I mentioned that Georgia is still recovering, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, and it was no point for me to leave. Uh, and I, I warned that you know I'm just gonna stay and be in shelter. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to all them vehicles and the bridge and the highway and Target parking lot. I mean, who those boats could flip. I mean, most of those boats, they were at the, uh, at the storage. And, uh, it, I mean, it was better off leaving them there at the storage. I'm so sorry to, uh, to those that try to make it out. I'm so sorry that. That's what you have right now. It, it just trap. Wow. All right, guys. It seems like this is all the information. Yeah, it seems like this is all the information here. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Uh, so, all the shelves are empty, but people left the Bud Lights. Man, you guys already know why the Bud Lights are there. Nobody wants Bud Light. Man. Um, turns out Floridians are desperate, but not that desperate. Bud Lights remain completely untouched. Uh, yeah, that's what happened when uh, they... They try to do all that stunt. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, conservatives are now down with that. Anyway, guys, uh, give me a second here. Let me just triple check really quick with the National Hurricane Center. Okay, so it's still in the same spot. 165 mile per hour. I will keep it updated, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the prayer. Please share the video. I will keep it updated with all these uh, hurricane updates, and I will bring to you all the videos of the aftermath. When I come out the shelter and start recording, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna bring you all the information, all the updates. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For it's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.